And we are back, folks. Another edition of the Michigan football film study focused on the defense with Vance Bedford. This is where we break down the X's and O's, take you inside with some telestrations and some breakdown of the actual plays. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you folks that the footage that is used in these breakdowns does not belong to us. We are using it for educational and entertainment purposes only is for the edification and entertainment of our audience. We do not make any money off of these videos. They are not monetized in any way, not sponsorship, nothing at all in the way of advertisement on these videos. It is for you, the people, but you can support us in other ways. You can certainly uh, like this video, subscribe to this channel. You can do that the same thing on the podcast channel as well. You can also subscribe to the michiganinsider.com where $1 gets you in your first month. So uh, this is, like I said, for the people. And if we're doing something for the people, that means we bring Vance Bedford because the people want Vance. So <laughs> Vance, uh, it was a struggle for you this week though. Not because you didn't want to do it. It was a struggle because you had a hard time finding a place to break down in this one. It was just a dominant performance. I mean, almost every snap was identical. They knocked an offensive line back. They're in the backfield. So you could have taken every play and broke things down, which the fans don't want to see. You want to see something a little bit different, whether it be a strength or weakness. So just trying to find some plays to get the fans excited about who we are as a Michigan defense. We found a few plays that get you going. All right. So what we'll start out with, Vance, is just talking about a couple of plays in the first quarter. No telestration on these. Just having you talk us through exactly what you just laid out. A dominant effort. Dominant effort by Michigan basically at every level of the defense. But certainly up front, uh, we got a dose of that early and often from, from this team. But let's go ahead and dive right in here. Early going. And so this is, this is uh, I think, the first defensive series of the game, yeah. fans, on the first and 10 here. You can talk us talk us through this yeah. one. You want to watch this, the D-line, just get after yeah. people. But what I like is a great pursuit. Watch the amount of guys. Just, this is just a pass play. we got good pressure up front. we got good coverage. I mean, just fundamental football. I mean, look how close the secondary is playing to receivers, the guys around the line of scrimmage. That's the entire season so far. We need to do the same thing versus Merrill. To stop here we go right here. They motion enter. We're going to have us a quick throw out here. And watch this. Watch the. Look, look, oh, my goodness. This a, this attack for a loss. This is impressive. Look at all the guys around the football. Watch the guys react. you got a safety sitting 10 yards deep racking to the ball. The D-line retracing their steps. I mean, you can't ask for anything better. Watch this play, guys. Getting off a block to corner. How in the world does the corner to press alignment make that play for a tackle for a loss? I, I don't know how he did, did it. Man, you know what? I hate to tell you guys, do they have a Charles Woodson out there playing? That's not Woodson coming out for retirement, is it? Come on, baby, let's ride. Bam. <laughs> well, that's that's good. And look how fast, look how fast Junior Coast. I mean, look, 25 was a guy that they tried to take advantage of, not because he wasn't athletic, but because he was inexperienced last year. Look how fast he triggered on that. No. Vance, and, and there's no way alignment is gonna reach him. I, I, I think that translates to his speed, regardless of who you play. If he recognizes it, if he diagnoses a play, he can get there before a lineman can get to him. You won't believe this defense they were actually in. They roll into that side. That's why the corner pulled the trigger so fast. That safety was acting like he was going to the middle, but he's coming back over the top. Again, uh, that was a different looks that they can give you that confuses a quarterback. Because you look at this video, it's like, oh, man, the man, they not. Mm -hmm. That corner's a cloud corner. What, what a great disguise, great scheme. Great execution, and I love the great pursuit of the entire defense. Just count the amount of guys around the ball. That's my All right. Yeah, it was, about true it was uh, that was the day at the office, man. <laughs> I mean, it was like. I mean, look at this. They're trying to throw another screen, and the D-line do a great job reading the offensive line, Retracing their steps again. We playing zone. Look at that play. There's no place to go. I Linebacker in great shape. The DN coming out of it. The safety to the corner. That's great execution. That's understanding what's happening to you. And that's why the scores have been the way they've been so far. That's why the amount of yardage they've given up has been minimal. 
because you see guys with great pursuit and great effort. I love it. Yeah, man. And I'm, <laughs> I remember watching during the game and I was like, they, their offensive coordinator has to be like, man, what? I mean, we can't block them. We can't screen them. Uh, what can we do? I guess. I'd have been running the ball. Hey, look at third and ten. I'd have been an empty motion back in the backfield. I'm running a power to counter. I'm saying, hey, I'm finna gap scheme these guys. I'm not. I'm not sitting back. In the previous two ball games, what they did on third and seven plus they blitz. So why in the world I'm go to empty with a banged up offensive line, a quarterback that throws like me? That's why I'm retired. You got to do that here. What's up? That's embarrassing. Come on now. So you you said. You said you line up and you you run it on them, right, Vance? You just said, long, I'm running the football. I'm gonna give them a good change up. But again, look look at the support. Look look at them knock the offensive line back. The, the now, hold going. up, Vance, because yeah. I, I mean I this was not a play that we tell straight, but I I just gotta highlight Makari Page number seven, the safety. Now you gonna you gonna run it on Michigan? You got to be at a block of safety, right? You got to be a block of safety with a with a lineman, with an offensive guard. Watch what Makari Page does to this offensive guard. Watch number seven Excuse me. coming down. I, 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 Vance, <laughs> you go what? You go what? They loading the ball. Just had a safety blow an offensive lineman three yards in the backfield. You know what? You're going to come up in 21 personnel. You know what Michigan's going to do? They're going to load the box. They're going to have some way of getting the safety down in the box. So, you again, you playing to the strength of the defense. So, the D.C. has the personnel, 21 personnel. We're going to load the box to stop the run because, number one, your receivers can't get past our corners. Ooh. Or we could be blitzing. And that's what you're seeing right now. Again, this is an advantage to Michigan's defense. And, again, I look at the offensive play calling here. On second down and 14, they can't even spread them out. Then motion the guy in the backfield and run the ball. We're getting 21 personnel. Come on, what are we doing? They raising the white flag. I mean, we've got a wall going on. They quit for whoever got started. He got no chance. Well, you certainly got no chance. I, man, just basic football, fans. A a 290-pounder should be able to block a 190-pounder, right? That's just, oh, hopefully. That's, that's just – I mean, what can you – I don't know what you can do if you can't do that. Should go sit in the stands or go play the tuba. <laughs> you should be a tuba blower. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, this was a tough one for the people. This was a tough one for the people. All right. So first quarter, it wasn't. It wasn't getting any better. Like I did, the office coordinator's throwing hands. Like man, what the hell? They in formation to the boundary. But again, you. Could, they plan. Look at the D line. I mean, come on now. I feel bad for that running back. He has no chance. Why are you running the football? They are knocking guys into the backfield. The D line is just dominating the line of scrimmage. As long as they are doing that, it's going to be a long year for anybody we play. I mean, that's outstanding football. But again, what's important? Look at the amount of guys around the football defense with great effort, great pursuit. That's called winning football. If the first guy were to miss a tackle. It's the second, third, and fourth guy around the ball you can't get around. I mean, they, they knock both guards in the backfield. I mean, you have no chance. None whatsoever. I mean, I've been running a boot on naked right now. I got four much to the boundary, first and ten. I'm throwing the football. Third and ten, I'm running the football. I'm trying to get the heck out of Dodge. Hey, Vance, you would have been a you would have filled in for the week, substitute oh offensive coordinator. Oh, come on now. I'd have called in sick. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I was an OC for UConn. I'd have had I would have had COVID. I can't get on the plane. I'm standing at home. I, I, I'm in isolation right now for a week. <laughs> Come on, baby. What we doing? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. So our first telestration, Vance. How about that? Our first well, illustration. You know what? I, I, this is a great design play, but it's even better execution by the Michigan defense. Again, you're getting a quarters look right now. Okay, so right now, this is rough formation. You can see the telestration of full zone to the left, the two up backs going to the left, and they're going to run the option back to the boundary away from where the line is blocking. So it's like a counter option play almost. And again, we're in the over defense. So you're going to see the fit of the defense. So again, I think we're rolling over the top right here. The corner's coming off the edge. The defensive end is going for the dive. 
the inside linebacker take a step. He comes around for the pitch, and the safety getting cracked, but he beats the crack for the pitch also. I mean, great execution. All right, so they now, okay, man, we, we can't blow them off. Let's test and see if they can play responsibility football. This is a responsible defense, man. That's what, really that's what they found out. And you know what? They found out that we're very responsible. I mean, look at the end, go for the dive. The corner has a quarterback, and the linebacker sprays outside for the pitch. This is great execution. Right now, if I'm Maryland right now sitting at home, I'm like, no, we got a problem. These guys, they don't beat themselves. They know how to execute and read their keys. And this is a great job to me by the linebacker to, to take that step and come back around for the pitch. I mean, that's a great job. Last year, this ball out the gate, fellas. This is going to be a 15, 20-yard play because the linebacker is still chasing the back to the field. So this is the growth I've seen from last year to this season. Better linebacker play so far this season. All right. So here's another one. We actually uh, – this might have been the very next play, Vance, if I'm not I mistaken. I think it is. All right. So even safety zero, Vance, even safety zero. What's the down and distance? Third and what? Third and nine. Man, they finna blitz us. <laughs> <laughs> they finna blitz what we're doing. We know they're going to blitz. That, that's a scouting report. Okay, let's go. So we line up and empty. I like that part of it. Okay, we see the routes at the top, guys. This is a pick pattern. They're going to motion to the backfield. The linebacker going to motion back with this guy. I know they're man-to-man -man right now. He's going to drop out. So we're in zero coverage in the back end. So we can see the blitz. Okay, we see what's going on. They bring the safety from the field. The end of the tackle to the field, they're going through the offensive guard and tackle. The backer who's on the hash, he's going to blitz from the outside. So they're in zero coverage. But they're dropping two guys inside. I'd have run the football right now. I'd have been out the gate. We man we're in zero coverage in the back end. It's called cat coverage. That's my cat. That's my cat. Let's go play football. They got a great call because it's a pick pattern at the top, trying to get the outside receiver inside. So right now, 25 is going to drop to the field. You see what's happening right? Look at the quarterback pressure. And again, outstanding play. They throw a flag for P.I., but what's important to me is the aggressive play of the front, the coverage of, in the back end. We're just a little bit early, but I like what we're doing. We are playing aggressive to make plays in the secondary. I, I like this defense. But again, people say, what about the sacks? The ball is out right now. You're not going to get home, but you get pressure. And the secondary of breaking on the ball right now. Look at an unblocked guy. I live with this every day of the week. Every day of the week. Because next time we might pick this ball off. See, you, so looking at this, Vance, because you, you said something earlier. You said, hey, and you've been saying it for weeks. I, you you see this coverage. You see this aggression. Will our corners hold up in, 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 in man to man? Here's my question. And you sort of pointed this out, too. You pointed this out, too. You said, hey, I think it was the last game where it was Makari. He was coming up from depth, made a tackle in the open field, right? Yeah. What you see some teams do that have talent up, you know, across the board, they have some different dudes, but they have one number one. They, like you said, they got one guy that you want to try to free up. They'll put that dude at the slot. And they'll say, okay, let's see if, if we can get this matchup, let's see if we can dictate matchup with where we line this guy up. And can this safety be charged with holding up against this dude if it's number one? If this number one, what would you do if you're the DC and they're doing things like that? We're gonna we're gonna line up our number one in the slot. What, what's your response to that? Well, last year we had Dax, he was your best cover guy now. So you put him in there. So in this situation right here, I would bring my safety or and then the nickelback cover. So it'd be different ways to take him away. But again, they do a variety of things on defense. Sometimes they bring in guys from the field and playing two deep zone. And you can see this, this is zero coverage, but at the same time, guess what the linebacker is doing? He's dropping out to help on the slant. Mm -hmm. The defensive tackle to the boundary. He's dropping out to help on the slant. So we're still getting guys in the throwing lanes. And yet we had the guy coming off the edge. He was unblocked. So the throw was going to the top. It was a pick pattern. Mm -hmm. They're trying to pick a guy off. We got there a little bit early, but they're doing different things that give us help underneath. We're giving you a look of, of bringing more than you can handle because what they do is that the linebacker steps at the center, then he drops. The defensive tackle steps at the guard, then he drops. 
that buys time for now the guys from the outside to get on where you can't go full slide and block the guy off the edge. Again, we got a guy unblocked. He is unblocked outside. The quarterback right now, am I tough enough to sit in there and get hit in the chest? That's the name of the game. Are we playing checkers or chess? Right now, we playing chess with our guys. Yeah, man, I hear D.C. say that a lot. Man, I, I want to – my number one objective is to affect the – we got to hit the quarterback to affect the quarterback, affect his – affect him so that even when you're not there, he feels like you're there because you That's hit right. him so much. Right. So, I mean, some are willing to risk – they're willing to risk giving up the big play just to be able to lay some hats on the quarterback, feeling like that that even if he gets us early a time or two, the cumulative effect of all these head not or not I shouldn't say that. Uh, cumulative effect of all these blows going to add up down the line where it's going to affect him later in the game. That's what I hear well, some of these Most days. guys I talk to that DC, they firmly believe that. They say if we get to the fourth quarter, we hit them early, first, second, third quarter, hitting receivers early. In the fourth quarter, sometimes guys not as tough. For that receiver running that slant, he got hit early, dropped that football. Or quarterback, he gets antsy feet. I got to tell you a story. We're playing the uh, San Francisco 49. And we get to overtime. We're playing T.O. We didn't hit T.O. early. So we got a zone pressure on. T.O. running the slant. Ryan Erlach was in the Hall of Fame is coming out. Guess what T.O. did? He saw Erlach. So he hits the ball. It goes up in the air. Mike Brown catches it on the run. This is an overtime touchdown and run straight in the locker room, game over with. But the effect of hitting T.O. early for three and four quarters paid dividends in overtime to help us win the football game. So at the end of the day, he's going to make some plays. But he got to pay a penalty for that. And right now, if I give up a play early, life goes on. Keep doing what you're doing because it's going to pay dividends in the fourth quarter when the game's going to lie. Yeah, you, you tell the story often. And it, it made me think about something that Nick Saban said. I, I got to hit the quarterback. We're going to hit the quarterback early. You said you came out against West Virginia, and they hit you with a big play. You said, I'm coming. I'm I'm going to still come. I'm still yeah. coming because we got to hit this dude. We did. We, we never stopped because if you do, they win. So the name of the game is make the quarterback move his feet. But I'm also thinking about the offensive coordinator. The offensive quarterback the coordinator does not want his quarterback to get hit. So he's doing things to protect him. And if you keep coming, he's going to show his game plan down. Why he's got to protect his quarterback. He's going to go max protect. That means fewer guys getting out. Guess what? We win. Mm-hmm. Now he's going to start running screens. So if I roll up to his zone, we win. So, again, I'm playing chess with him also. I'm into the quarterback's head and the offensive coordinator's head. All right. There are a couple more plays, none with telestration. You, you, We just threw the book at you, telestration-wise, for the week, right? There just wasn't a whole lot in this game. But there were <laughs> – I mean, man, it's, it's the worst. <laughs> like I said, they, they sitting there got off the plane. <laughs> oh, man. My man, Vance. All right, so here's another one. And you've got Zion Turner no to the course. Can you believe it's third down alone and they blitzing again? It's third down alone and they blitzing again. Why are they trying to throw this slow receiver against our DB? Come on now. What are we doing? What are we doing? Great stunt now. It's this is I I I'll put this on here for a reason. We're playing Maryland right now. Mm-hmm. That could be their best receiver. Or we're gonna hold up. Mm-hmm. That's my. That's why I put this one on here because we, we technically we we in zero coverage in the back end, some combination coverage, whatever it may be. So the matchup that they want, they could have right here, mm-hmm. and that's why I wanted this play on here for that particular reason right here. It's a matchup defense because right now as you can see we are straight man to man across the board right now, and our stunt was very slow in coming right now. Okay, the linebacker he took forever looping around there. I mean, it's like. I mean, like he's dragging a, a mule or something. Like he's going to go for him. I mean, so that was a slow pass rush, and they threw it to the right guy. But our DB was better than their receiver. Going back to your point earlier, if they put their best receiver in the slot right now, and we don't get home, we could have a problem mm-hmm. this particular play. That's why I wanted this one on here. All right. Uh, and so here is 
another one still in the second quarter. So we move on down. Again, again, here's, here's our two roll coverage. We ran this a bunch last year. See the cloud corner? Mm -hmm. The back come out inside. We bring in a nickel back off the edge. So guess what the quarterback is right now? He's saying we got pressure. See the Sam and the nickel backs coming. Look, both of them coming. So the quarterback say, I got this. He's going to a cloud corner. And the safety over the top is a half field guy. Now the quarterback, because he was nervous, he should have thrown to the outside receiver on an out cut because the corner jumped down too fast. But again, we're in the quarterback's head. He saw the safety coming. That's his high throw. He threw it right to the strength of the cover. This, this is a great job. Great job by the secondary. Great job by the pressure. And again, a poor read by the quarterback because of the pressure in his mind. See, I bet you the quarterback had nightmares the night before the game. Friday, they coming. All you can see, they coming. It's lightning outside. It's thundering outside. I don't know where to go. I can't have an umbrella because that's a lightning rod. So he was <laughs> He was getting the deck. I'm sorry. I'm going to say, check this out. He had no, and I'll put an and in there, chance. He had no and chance. Not no chance, no and chance. He got no chance, brother. Come on. You said his umbrella of lightning rod, man. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's storming outside. If you put the umbrella up, he's going to get shocked. So he couldn't put the umbrella up. He had no chance at all. I mean, come on now. Uh, all right. Man, come on now. Here we go. Third down and 10. Guess what they're doing right now? They going to empty and throwing a screen. Come on, what are we doing? This is this is called kill up. I mean, they got no chance. Right now, we're in zone. We're in flat out zone. Great retrace by the D-line. The linebacker did a great job reacting. The secondary cup the ball ball. Again, this is a great pursuit and great read by the look at the two defensive linemen. That's what I was about to say. You see how quick they how quick they recognize that? Because look at watch the offense, watch the guard attack. Because they're telling you right now it's the screen. Both of them released. They just got right in the hip pocket of the offensive guard and tackle. There's no place to go. Again, I get a D line coach. I give him a silver dollar right now. Did a great job teaching these guys right now. Outstanding. Nice play. Wow. Yeah. So you know, while the level of competition. Obviously, you got to wait to see physically if you match up better with with superior athletes. There's no question about that. But the the football IQ, you could tell some things even against these opponents. Can't you, Vance, about the football IQ of this team or this defense? I look at these guys at this point in time last year compared to this year. They're really in the same defense, different D.C., but a lot of terminology is the same. I see growth. I see maturity. And that's what you're seeing right now. Those guys are recognizing plays. They're reacting to what they see. They're in the right place. Like the linebacker last year, they were chasing ghosts. This year, they're not standing at home. This last play, you see the, the defensive end, the defensive tackle. They see high hat and diamond pull. You teach those guys to get right in the hip pocket. Again, that's maturity right there. I didn't see that at this point in time, the third game of the year last year. We're ready. I think we have a, almost a better defense at this point in time right now. As a team than last year. We missed some individual talent, but as a team, wow. Come on, fans. I got on them last year. Now, if I don't, if I don't hear them cheering this year, I'm going to really be upset in the fans. I mean, they should be outside lined up Friday. The student body should be out there lined up trying to get seats right now. They should be ready to go. They, they should be coming in their game and clapping right now. Whatever it is, I don't care what a game is. We play in Maryland. They should be, it should be a train right now, buses lining up to go to Maryland. Say, if there's any empty seats, we want them. It's it, but it's in Ann Arbor. It's Ooh, in Ann Arbor. So game they don't have far to go. Right now, it's 14 0. Right now, we didn't even start at 14. Right, you said it's in Ann Arbor. It's 14 0 right now. Why? Because our fans. I'm just telling you right now, game over. 14, they've down 14 0. They got to throw the football. We're finna blitz it right now. Sack quarterback, sack fumble. Pick, scoop, score, 21 to 0. Let's go. Get off the bus. Remember, I said that now. I called the last game, didn't I? You did. I okay, let's go. We shall see from your let's lips, fans. Uh, I promise you, people, there, there will be more telestrations next week. Uh, 
This is a legit team they're about to face. They they have some things on tape that they felt like they had some success with last year. They weren't able to uh, to sustain it. And you got a more experienced quarterback with better weapons around him. Let's see. Let's see what happens in this matchup this week. But whatever happens, you know we'll be back to break it down with our man Vance. I want to remind you, the footage used in this video is not owned by us. It is for the education, entertainment, and edification of you, the listener, and the viewer. It is not for profit. We do not make any money, no sponsorships, no advertisements, no monetization, no nothing when it comes to money and this video. It is for your entertainment only. That being said, you can support us in other ways. Please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, do the same thing on the podcast channel if you're listening to us over there. And of course, remember to subscribe to the MichiganInsider.com. A dollar gets you in the first month. Full paying members also get Paramount Plus. You cannot beat the value. With that, signing off. Be back next week with another edition of the Michigan Football Film Study focused on the defense with Vance Bedford. Go Blue.